All right, so we're working with Indy. Um, we're just continuing to chip away at a few things that Indy's dealing with now. He's got a pretty bad case of separation anxiety, but we're smoothing that out. Uh, we have other videos on separation anxiety. Remember, bottom line, separation anxiety is caused by you, the owner. It's not caused by other dogs. It's not natural. It's caused by humans. So we cover that on another video. This is a video about hold. We're working on Indy's hold. We're getting him off leash and we're kind of, hey, stop that, sit. We're kind of getting him to just focus on what we want, which is to just go out and get the object, bring him back, spin into heel and deliver it. He's been doing good with um, water retrieves. He's been good with reverse retrieves. We're getting him off leash to do this. It's actually kind of nice. This rug, I kept it for this reason. See each one of these lines? We kind of move out a new line each, each day or each uh, couple days. Don't rush putting the object farther away from the dog. Okay, if you get him picking it up off the ground, move it about an inch. Don't move it six inches, one foot, two feet. Uh, that's something I made a mistake of early on when I was working with dogs is I, I, I went too fast. Take your time. Remember, dogs learn incrementally and you wanna build on their small successes. This morning we were going just past the brown, the dark brown line right to here. We're gonna go back to the same one we had and we're gonna work him on the knee collar. We have the e collar at a one. I'm gonna be using the e-collar and tapping on the e-collar to drive him towards the object. When he picks up the object and heads back to me, I'm going to release the pressure. All right, buddy. You ready? Yeah, you're excited. Heel. No, heel. Sit. Good boy. No, sit. Indy, hold. Yes, heel. Sit. Drop. Good boy. That's the kind of energy you want from the dog going to get the object. You want him to want to do it. I don't want him pouncing on it, but I like that he's excited. You're doing good, buddy. Stop that. We'll get you, we'll get you all banged up a little bit. Heel. Indy, hold. Yes, good boy, heel. You're doing it, dude. Sit. Drop, pretty easy. No, drop. Pretty easy after jumping in that cold water to get it, huh? Good boy. Indy, hold. No, hold. No, hold. No, hold, dude. Indy, hold. Come on, man. We'll get that thing. Yes. Heel. Now, he's excited right now. Tail wagon, that's good. Hold. Drop. No, drop. Good boy. Now, I'll use the vibrate to get him to drop it. And I'll use this thing on a one. Hey, hey. Knock that off. Here, heel, heel, sit, good. I'm using it at a one because I want to push him to go get it. I'm not going to use it at all this time. Indy, hold. Yes, heel. Now rather than release the pressure, sit, drop, no, drop. Rather than release the pressure with the e at that time, I marked the behavior with a yes. You can do both. But right now, he knows he's to go get it. That second time when he was going slow, we had, the ta we had that tapping going on until he picked it up, and when the pressure was released, he got it. Indy, hold. Yes, dude. Heel. No. Heel. Sit. Good boy. Drop. No, drop. Good boy. Sit. We won't go for that much longer. I want him to have lots of success in small sessions. Indy, hold. Yes, good boy, heel, sit, drop. That's good, dude. Give me three good ones, all right? Three good ones. Indy, hold. Yes, heel, good boy, sit. Good boy, dude, drop, no, drop, good boy. You're doing awesome, Indy, you're doing great, buddy. Tail wagon, the dog is happy. Indy, hold. Yes. Heel. Sit. Drop. Come on. Drop. No. Drop. Good boy. Marking it no when he doesn't do it right. You know, use that negative marker. Same way we mark it with the yes. Indy, hold. Yes, dude. Good boy. Heel. Sit. Drop. No. Drop. Good boy. Sit. 
You got a couple more in you, I know it. You ready? You ready, dude? Indy, hold. Yes, dude. Heel. Sit. Drop. That's good, dude. That's real good. Real good. I can tell he's getting a little floaty now, so we're gonna get a couple more good ones. No, sit. Indy, hold. No. Indy, hold. Come on, dude. Hold. You got it, man. Go on. Yes. Heel. Sit. Drop. That's good, buddy. That's real good. That's real good, dude. You ready to go? Indy, hold. Yes, dude. Good boy. Heel. Yes. Sit. Yes. Good. Drop. Good boy. Good boy. You ready? Indy, hold. Yes. Good boy. Heel. Sit. That's a good dog. Drop. Very good. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Last one, dude. Last one. Indy, hold. Yes, dude. Good boy. Heel. Sit. Drop. No, drop. Now go get some water. Good boy. Good job, dude. I will pet you for a while because you did real good. Get some water. That was almost just over five minutes. I mean, probably less than five minutes if you include me talking at the beginning. Now here's something to highlight. We could have stopped when I said, give me three. We could have stopped after the extra four or five I did after that. But when he got a little bit slow and I had to lean forward and make him go get it, I, I integrated the e-collar again. Again, I'm tapping it at a very low level. We had it at a one, all right? Um, you have to remember that if you go past that point with the dog and they make a mistake or they're a little slow or they're not doing it perfectly, you need to get them back into that form. I wanted him to have three perfect ones with enthusiasm, you know, uh, and I wanted him to do it right. So we got those three before we finished the session. Now he's gonna go up and we're gonna build on this later. Maybe we'll go from here, right, to here. Cause he's done this level, uh, you know, two or three times. And then we'll get moving up here after a few lessons. Eventually he'll be all the way up here and eventually he'll be doing long range retrieves. He was doing great in the water retrieves. Uh, he used to be afraid of water. He'll run and, and charge the, the lake and, and, and take the object out of the river or whatever. It's great. Uh, we'll integrate reverse retrieving. All of this is gonna be beneficial to the owner who lives in a smaller space, who wants to be able to work with the dog within the home or on their back, their back patio, or you know, in the small grassy area they have. Not all work needs to be running in a field. The dog can get exercise just working like this from home. So as long as you keep it structured and you pay attention to the details, you can get great results, okay? This dog was not doing this a week and a half ago. It, it just needed some structure. It needed to know what was, the, what was important. But rest assured, this is not easy to teach. It takes a lot of work, a lot of short sessions, and to be honest, if you've never done it, I'd contact a professional to learn. Um, and, and you know, once the dog knows it, any competent professional can translate that to you, the owner, you, the handler, and make sure that you know how to integrate this into your daily training, okay? Trust me, this for 10 minutes, this for five minutes, this for 15 minutes, will wear out any dog, even the most hyper dog. 15 minutes of this, detailed, structured, it'll get them real wiped, real fast. So we'll do some more videos with Indy. Good job, buddy. Good job. See, happy dog, waving the tail. Right, bud? You wanna go to the bathroom? Go on.